In this video, I would like to show you how to insert a list of figures and a list of tables into your research, report, dissertation or thesis. This is a draft of a research report that I have open in front of me. And this is a figure and a table. There's many more figures and tables to follow. And I want to insert a list of tables and a list of figures at the start of my research report, thesis, or dissertation. In order to formulate this list of tables automatically, which will minimize errors and automatically insert the, the page number numbers on which the tables and the figures appear, you can do it in the following way. Go to where your first table is listed it will start with the tables, go to the references tab, insert caption and here let's create a new label because we would like to call this table table 3 point and it automatically gives the label table 3.1. Click OK but now you will see Let's remove that additional table 3.1. Now you will see the font has changed completely. You'll only have to fix this once. Highlight it. Choose the font that you would like to, to use. Choose the size. We don't want it italics and we want it in black. Now go to these styles and right click on caption and click update caption to match selection. Now every time you insert a caption it will be inserted in this font style and size. This is the first table. Let's scroll down to see if we can find more, more tables. Now we're in chapter 4 and in chapter 4 the tables are numbered as 4.1, 4.2, 4.3. This is easy to do. Again Click next to your table heading. At the moment it's just a normal style. Go to References, Insert Caption and we're going to create yet another new label. Let's call it Table 4 point and it auto will automatically give it the number 4.1. Click OK and just delete that manually entered table number. Okay, let's scroll to the next table. This is supposed to be table 4.2, but can you see how easily it is to make a mistake? Insert caption, it automatically creates a, a table 4.2 label. Click OK, and it changes the format, the style and the font and the size and the way you want it. And in this way you go on and you create, do the same for all your additional tables. Now, once you've done this with all your tables, go back to your list of tables at the beginning of your document where you would like to create the list of tables and go to the reference tab and click on insert table of figures. Now, in this case, it's going to be insert a list of tables. Okay, as you can choose here what you would like to insert, we have tables three point which you would like to insert as well as four point. Let's start with a three point. Now we don't want it in this font. Go to modify change it to Times New Roman and whatever else you would like to change in this space here. And click OK. Click OK and your table three point one has been inserted. This is the list of tables that appears in, in chapter 3. But we also have tables in chapter 4. Go to insert tables, list of tables, table 4 point. The settings are already corrected. And here your next list of tables. And do the same for all your chapters tables. Now this, you'll do the same for the figures, 
Let me show you just an example of a few figures. This is figure one. Again, insert caption, but now we would like to call it figure. And again, it's in chapter four, so let's call it figure four point. And it automatically decides that it's figure 4.1. And again, you do exactly the same thing for all your figures. Let's do one more. There's another figure. Insert caption, figure 4.2. OK. Now, once you've done this for all your figures, Go to the place where you would like to insert your list of figures. And if you would like to change that, you can do so. Yeah, it will insert it in this way and you've already changed the settings previously. And click OK. And here a list of all your figures with the page numbers on the right hand side. If you've moved some of your figures down and the page numbers have changed at some stage, Click onto this list, right click, update field, click update entire table or update page numbers only. If you've changed some of the headings of the figures or the tables where it appears in the text, you will say update entire table, otherwise only update page numbers only. And it will update the entire table or the page numbers. You can do the same with your list of appendices or any other list that you would like to create inside your document.